Good morning, everyone. Saturday morning, and I got three layouts that I got done uh, when I, I woke up at 4 o'clock, so I scrapbook for about an hour, hour and a half before I leave for work. <clears throat> See me got tickle or something in my throat. <clears throat> and so this is one I did, and then I have one I started yesterday and finished this morning, and then I have another one that I did this morning. Alright, so this one's titled Let Us In. This is just a picture of Roxy and Angus standing on my deck. Excuse my tape on my sliding glass door. It, I think that's my screen. The dog ran into it and it broke. And then I have all my flowers here. Grow all my flowers. I grow my own flowers. And I have a greenhouse now that my husband bought me, so no longer do I have to make my own greenhouse. It's great. And then I harvest seeds off of them for the next year. But my annuals, living in Florida, they come. most of them come back year after year. So, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to glue down my title first, which is from Jasmine, and it's cut at one and a quarter inches. And... Here's my tweezers. There it is. Alright. <clears throat> Let me fix my letters first real quick. Alright. And I need my is it dry? <clears throat> uh, on this, I just took two scraps. This paper came from, let's see here, this one right here. It's pattern pack, color box that you can get. You can't buy it at Walmart now. They don't have it anymore, but I got this one from, I got one from Walmart, I do believe, and then one from Tuesday morning had them, so I picked it up a while ago. And then this yellow piece, I'm not, it was a scrap to another layout I did, so I'm not sure where that came from, but let me see, let me look in here. It may have come from a My, My Mind's Eyes paper sack that I've got. Let me look at it. Let's see. Hmm. Nothing in there looks like that. Or I may have gotten it from older paper stack that I have. I actually bought from a private individual. She was getting rid of all her <coughs> scrapbook and stuff. It. Uh, I may have come from this one. Uh, let me see. Where's my. It may have. I'm not 100% sure. Let me just scan through it real quick and see. I knew where the one come through and I've been trying to figure out where this one came from, but I'm not at all sure. I have, not, I have no idea where it did come from. But it's not in this one. It's not in that one and it's not in the other one. Should write this stuff down. Let me look at these. Okay. Maybe come from this one. I'm gonna say I think. Let's see it on here. But I want to say that it come from the classic prints. It 
made come from the classic prints paper sack. But I'm not promising that. <laughs> this one here. Otherwise, these two, this strip and this one, <coughs> all came from that Walmart sack. Anyway, and these are, and the strips are cut at, I do believe, one and a half inches by 11. And then my photo mat is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then my circle, which is from Georgian Basic Shapes, is three and three quarters. And then the small dog is, excuse me, is from Everyday Paper Dolls, cut at two and a half. And this doggy, this one is Animal Kingdom at three inches high. And then let me get this down and then I'll show you. I did do some stitching on it. Yeah, glue on there. But let me get this glued first. Alright. Oh, I may not have turned my TV down enough. I, you're probably going to hear it. I was watching. Uh, well, I have it so my TV in my craft room, which I have just an old Gold Star 13 inch TV VCR combo that I bought like years ago. I bet I've had that thing. Bought it when I first moved down here. 14 years ago. I bought it from a store that's not even in business anymore. So, anyway. And so I have it hooked to the TV in my living room. So whatever it is on that TV is also in my bedroom. So, I wish there was a way to do it from my bedroom to this one so that way my husband can watch something and then I can watch something totally different off the bedrooms TV since we don't really watch TV in the bedroom as much anymore so because usually when we go to bed we're tired and we just go to bed so I don't really watch TV in there so unless my husband goes out and then I'll go to bed and I'll watch a movie and then fall asleep but Anyway, so, uh, I'd like to see if I could run a cable from that TV into here. Maybe I can do that over my spring break, because I have all next week off. Granted, I have a honey-do list for myself. I want to spring clean, clean yard, plant my flower seeds that I collected from last year. Yeah, and a few other things. Scrapbook is one. <laughs> and my friend, I haven't heard from her, but they were supposed to leave Massachusetts last night. So I texted her this morning to see if, if she left and how things are going so far on the road. And, I haven't heard from her, so I hope she's all right. Her husband drives. She has her husband drive. She's passenger. And they usually drive straight through, and then she'll take over driving if she needs to, if he gets tired. All right, so that's glued down. This guy is oozing for some reason. He's done that to me before. I'll put the cat back on. Keep it in there. Okay, I'm going to take this stuff off so I can show you what I did is I you can see I took my zigzag tool which I did put away so I just have it sitting on the shelf. I used this to stitch to stitch up and then what I did is I just did a two rows of back stitching instead of the zigzag. And then here I just have a zigzag ribbon that I put where these two pages come together. Alright <clears throat> 
and then this mat's going to go here, and then this circle's going to lay. This is where I'm going to do journaling, and I want that circle something like that. So I'm going to get my ATG. And here down my photo mat. Put it here. I remember not to put glue on the bottom so I can put my circle underneath. And I think I want it to hang off the edge so it shows. And just like so. I wonder now if I could get some. No, I guess I put glue on the wrong side. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looks like that's strange. There's glue there. So let me just do it like so then. Hopefully this will stick down because it has to stay stick over the stitching. Usually does pretty good even with the ATG. Alright now let's I'm just gonna glue these right down to the page. I'm not gonna pop them up. And I didn't use Peachy Keen on their faces. I just used their normal faces they cut cut with. He goes at the bottom like so. Oh man, I forgot. I'm out of ATG. Alright, well. I'll put add more on him. Oh, fooey. I'm almost done. Here, I'll just use my blue runner just to so I can finish it. Let me in the back of my drawer because I never use it. I'll just use this just to finish off. Alright, that should be enough. Alright. And then him I'm going to stick. And this doggy's Angus, even though Angus is black. And I'm excited because I get the I'm having um I'm getting the pet shop cartridge and it has Rottweiler and Bulldog on it. So now I can uh so now I can have actual bulldog for hosses pages. And then they'll have a more variety of I can have hoss bulldog for hoss since he's a bulldog. Anyway, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Good night. I think my kids get me sick. Glad it's spring break. I'm try to get over it. All right. So this is my layout. Just wrong way. All right. So this completes my layout, and I did stitch around the dogs too. I didn't mention that. So I will see you again soon. Bye.